Hey guys and welcome to Minikun Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can actually use your PC monitor or if you want your PC screen in common terms as a TV. Okay, so here as you can see, I have my Asus screen here, 24 inch screen that you can see, which is big enough to be used as a TV. And I'm going to show you how you can actually turn the screen into a TV in just a few minutes okay of course you would need a, a, a couple of stuffs first of all you need to have a TV player and um, many other stuffs okay and there are certain things that you need to also take into consideration when it comes to using a monitor as a TV okay um, the good news is that it works perfectly well and the screen even comes with a with better quality than a normal TV screen, okay? Because this is like you'll be you'll be blown off once I I switch on my TV. So please stick stick to the end. I'm sure the screen just went off. So let me yes okay. All right. So I'll show you how this works. Um, there are, so as you can see, I can use I can I can use I can just work for instance. I got this screen because um, I, I I do a lot of telework. I work from home most of the time. I sometimes go to the office, but most of the time I'm always home working. And uh, you know, I just had to go get myself a 24 inch screen so that I'll be able to work efficiently. Okay, so and I. I, was, I didn't also want to, I'm not a type who really like big screens, like big TVs and all of that. I'm not a big fan of big TVs, okay? If you like a big TV, that is your, I respect that, you know, just that I'm not a type who like... This is also because, personally, I know I'm the type, I don't spend a lot of time uh, watching the TV, you know? So, I actually needed a screen to work to like to work you know with my pc and not necessarily because i wanted a tv okay and but i also like to watch uh certain tv programs from time to time or listen to news and all of that so i felt like i i just knew that i was going to i didn't want to spend twice you know going to buy a tv set just one thing you should also know is that though i'm making the video on how to use tv monitor as a sorry pc monitor or pc screen as a tv if you are also having a tv you could also follow the same format and turn your tv into a pc screen it's also very possible but one thing you need to note is that that's why i prefer the this way okay i prefer buying a, a, a pc screen and using it as a tv to actually buying a, a tv screen and using it as a pc because I've tried that before in my previous apartment where I was living. I tried that before and I realized that uh, anytime I try to use a TV as a screen, a, 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 a monitor or a PC screen, the display was very, very bad, you know? So that is to say a PC screen, in my opinion, has better qualities than a TV screen. A TV screen is meant for TV uh, purposes. It, it can also be used as a PC screen, but for me, per my experience, the quality was not very good when I tried to use it. But you could, it's, it's not to say it was very bad, it was okay, okay? It was just, just okay, but this is to tell you that if you are already having a PC screen, then consider using a PC screen as a TV, or if you, yeah, or if you intend to buy a PC screen, then consider buying a PC screen and using it as a TV, in case you don't want to buy a TV that would be much better than uh, the other way around because if you buy a TV screen, yes, it will work perfectly well as a, as a TV, but if you would like to use it as a, as a, a monitor or a PC screen, it's gonna work too perfectly well, but not as compared, to, that is my opinion. So I hope I was clear on that. So now, as you can see, what I'll do is that I'll just simply unplug. So. Let me just sh take you through what, where, what, what the different components are. One thing I like about this Asus 
24 inches screen is that it's actually it can actually be moved in any form that or any way that i want for instance i can turn it this way as you can see it rotates so i can rotate you see i just sorry okay so i can actually pull it up if i want to raise it you can raise it you can push it down you know this is the one good thing about this screen i'm not marketing for asus but i just have to appreciate the product for its goodness right so i can tilt it anyhow i want you know i can also you know if i want it this way you know or do i want it down then i can you know you know tilt it left and right you know push it up or down you know all right so this is one good thing i like about this screen and as you can see i have my adapter here for my uh, pc so i have the adapter here okay i have my mouse blocked you know i have my mouse blocked right here and then i have my hdmi port over there so you, you as you can see so this is an hdmi multi-purpose adapter for connecting laptops to screens this is commonly used in the office right but i could decide to make do if you don't have this adapter that's not a big problem okay if you don't have this adapter all you need is for instance i have the hdmi port here on my laptop right so i could just unplug this and plug it right here and i'll put my mouse in this usb port over here without any problem so this is just to tell you that don't stress yourself in case you don't have this multi-purpose adapter okay that is not a problem at all i will show you what you really need you know so i have my tv uh remote here okay and as you can see i have my tv player over there this is my wi-fi box and this is the tv player over here and now let me show you the back of the screen what are the different ports this is what i'm going to show you is very very important if you are considering buying a screen a, a pc monitor to be used as a tv what i'm going to show you this time around is very very important and that has to do with the fact that so let me show you the back of the, the monitor okay so here is the back of the monitor and turn it as usual okay this one beautiful thing about this screen is that like i told you you can raise it if i want to push it down and just push it down again push it up you know hope i haven't switched it off okay all right and then i can turn it this way rotate it anyhow as i was showing you you know tilt it this way tilt it that way you know you have all the different possibilities with this screen i'm not marketing for asus anyway <laughs> and it's actually a screen meant for gaming it's a gaming screen and it has it's very, very phenomenal you know so what i wanted to show you regards to so here as you can see this is the power supply for the monitor so the cable is right here let me show you the cable so i have the cable down here to my socket okay so this is the power supply and down here let me show you hope you can see i have my sorry let me have to tilt the screen a little bit this way so you can see properly okay so down here you will see what you will see the hdmi port i'm sorry if the screen is not very clear but as you can see, this is a HDMI cable right here, plugged. So we have two. The other one, I don't know what kind of HDMI type it is. I don't know. I think this type A or so. The other one, I don't know what type it is. So, but at least you need to have HDMI port behind here, okay? But that's where you actually fix your HDMI cable, okay? And now there is something very very important. Let me show you something quickly okay uh before we proceed i'll simply switch on to tv because all this while i was showing you the monitor just as a monitor but not 
I mean, you're shown you using it as a TV, right? So let's quickly switch to TV. And to switch to TV, I simply have to unplug uh, my HDMI. You know, I have the adapter. So adapter, this adapter is a USB-C type adapter, multi-purpose adapter. But like I said, if I had my HDMI plugged here, then I would just unplug my HDMI. So me, I'll just remove this adapter here. Okay. And then you see that no signal. And then I just pick my TV remote and switch it on. Okay, I've switched it on. TV player is over there. And normally, I should be able to play. So you see. All right. Perfect. So I have my TV playing. But like I said, you guys, you would need what? You would need a TV player. So if you don't have a TV player, then even a TV set, if you have a TV set, but you need a TV player, right? Let me decrease the volume. Okay. So this is my TV player over here. I've already shown you that. But um, in case you are to choose a monitor, there is something that you have to note. In case you are to choose a monitor, first of all, I've shown you that if you want to use a monitor as TV monitor, uh, sorry, your PC monitor or your whatever, your monitor as a TV, then you have to make sure that when you are buying the, the monitor, you have what HDMI port as I showed you. I've shown you, I told you this is my power supply. The other cable here is the HDMI. So you have to make sure that there's HDMI port over there. And the second thing you have to also note is that this particular screen has inbuilt, uh, what do you call it, speakers, okay? So when I turned on the TV, the sound that you were hearing was coming from the monitor straight. Because um, this is very important because, you see, let me increase the volume, okay? So this is sound coming from the PC monitor. So if you have to buy a monitor, you have to make sure that the monitor that you have bought has inbuilt uh, speakers. If the, if the monitor hasn't got speakers, then that would be a big problem because you will not have any sound, right? The second thing you have to also note is that uh, in case the, the, the monitor hasn't got, what do you call it, hasn't got... Um, uh in both speakers then at least it should have a power jack okay sorry i said power jack uh speaker jack okay where like your something like a speaker jack you know where you can actually plug speakers so for this particular screen it hasn't got a speaker jack at least i can't see one but lucky enough the speakers are inbuilt so this is something that you have to make sure you take note when buying a screen make sure it has what HDMI port because this HDMI cable that you see here uh, let me show you something that, that, you see I and one other thing one other thing is that you have to buy a, a an HDMI splitter which will go cost you maybe five euros what I bought for instance what you can see here is an HDMI splitter it's not the best because some actually have a, a switch here where you can switch to you can have multiple switches or multiple HDMI ports, but in this case, I just have two because one for my PC. So let me show you how it is. So over here, this is what? This is my, this is, this is for my PC, right? Because I'm using the, this multiple uh, multi-socket adapter. If not, this would have been plugged straight to my PC. So this for the PC and it is connected to what? So you, you can see it clearly. It is right here. And it is collect, It is connected to this uh, HDMI splitter, as you can see. And then I also have my TV player, which is here. So you have the TV player here. And this is the cable, goes this way, goes this way, goes this way, goes this way. And it's also connected to the splitter. So one HDMI cable for the TV player another HDMI cable for the PC and they are all connected to this splitter right and this splitter is now connected to what the the monitors or the screen 
okay so some actually have a switch so instead of you see that remember that when i wanted to switch to pc uh, uh, sorry switch to tv i had to unplug this right from my pc so some you don't have to to unplug your hdmi su uh, supply or whatever S if you have a, if you buy a splitter that has a button here you don't need to do it you just press on the button and then switch to either the tv player or switch to what the pc screen why did i have to buy a splitter okay if you don't want to buy this hdmi splitter like i said just i bought it for seven euros or so but if you don't want to buy a splitter then it means every time you'll have to so for instance if you want to switch to tv then you have to come and unplug the tv hdmi from here and then plug uh if you want to switch to pc then yes you, you unplug the tv hdmi and then plug that of the pc and then when you want to switch to pc you unplug the tv and then plug that of the pc or vice versa so but you see that as you continue to do that you end up spoiling the hdmi port over here underneath your pc which is here okay you end up spoiling the hdmi port which is here so i wanted to protect so to protect this hdmi port and our, my monitor will not spoil because the hdmi port is damaged i decided to buy the splitter you know so that i don't have to do a lot of technical stuff if i just want to switch to tv i just unplug the tv here and then turn on the remote right and if i also want to go back to my pc let me show you how i do that i simply turn off the pc oh, sorry the tv so i'll turn off the tv okay i just turned off the tv if i want to switch on switch on you know switch off the tv switch off the tv then i just switch off I want to use my uh, monitor as a normal monitor screen for my PC. Then I simply, after switching off the PC, simply grab this cable. Or if you don't have this multi-purpose socket, uh, socket that I've shown you, or adapter that I've shown you, then you just plug straight your HDMI straight to the PC. Or if you have this adapter, then you just put it at a USB-C port. okay and then after let me use face okay and then i'll switch back to what uh to to pc thank you so much for watching and i hope this helped please subscribe bye